A nationwide hike in the price of lumber is going to affect people's plans for home building projects. Eric at a cost explains. The pandemic has affected a lot of things. The price of gas, simple grocery items, and now lumber. Scott Fields, president and general manager of Matthew and Fields Lumber, says they're normally busy come springtime, but this year he's never seen anything like it. We're roughly double where prices were uh, pre-COVID about a year ago. Field says the demand is there. People want to get outside and start new projects, but supply is the main issue. The mills are not able to uh, reach full capacity for COVID reasons. Uh, social distancing, uh, sick people just not being able to get the people back from the layoffs uh, a year ago. Fields says they're slowly getting the workforce back, but it's going to take a few more months. Rick Herman, CEO of Rochester Home Builders Association, says it's important to keep this in mind if you're starting any home projects this spring. They're going to take longer and be more expensive. A deck that might have been uh, $3,000 in the past might cost $4,000 this year um, for the lumber. It's the same for homes. A new one could cost up to $30,000 more, depending on size. There's also less inventory with pre-existing homes because of the pandemic, so Herman says more people are are actually buying new anyways, a major plus for the industry. Buyers are getting more money because the demand is, uh, is so high and the inventory is so low. Uh, so there is an opportunity for things to equal out and even out. Reporting, Eric had a cost, News 8. All right, Eric had a thank you. Those experts tell us to get started on those projects early so you can negotiate prices before they go up even more. The Rochester